what's going on everyone boss here again this time we're here for another episode reaction for overlord season four episode seven and um last time we got irons getting into the dwarven kingdom and then getting him to agree to let him help so that um he can get all the runesmiths to the sorcerer kingdom so um we left off where him and i forgot that one dwarf that's been with him shaltir and aura are on their way um, to try to defeat the uh, Korogoro and um, try to get the system set up so that they can have all the rune smiths so Ainz can get his rune technology. So, without further ado, let's jump into the episode. Who are you looking at? Is that the head one? The head, hon head honcho? Then they take up residence in their former Dwarven royal capital. So that's where they're trying to go. Oh, go meet the dragons. Okay. Try to get two sides so we can each other take them both down. Okay. He's pretty s smart. Oh, there's the dragon. So in this um Overlord lore, do dragons like sh gold and stuff? I've seen that before in other things. No, give us all your gold. <laughs> that seemed like a long trek. Destroyed the door. Yo, if I'm a dragon and I need glasses, that's a problem. <laughs> the nerdiest dragon ever. He just put his glasses between his scales. Oh, get a pose. Oh, the magnificent eyes. You're not scared of dragons. They know all about them. Is that his heart? Yo, immediately. <laughs> Yo, he just bowed immediately. Oh, he got a gut. He peed. Yo. No, don't pee everywhere. You're not dogs. Yo. <laughs> Yo, he just let him straight to them. Do they not have like deep familiar bonds? Yo, <laughs> they send him out. He came back a traitor. It's painful to converse. <laughs> and that's it's over with. It's over with. Yo, they all try to claim it. <laughs> okay. Yo, immediately took the dragons down. <laughs> this man just crushed his heart. Does he only have one heart? This man said, let's go to the treasury. Oh. Six more uses of that super key. Hey, didn't they have financial problems? Is that all her beasts? Oh, is she just gonna subju subjugate all of them? <laughs> yep, she thinks he realized. Wow, she thinks it's for her to figure out all the possibilities. You think 60,000 is enough? Uh, cut them down to their 10,000? Does he realize? He's like, yeah, we, we gotta sit this one out, guys. We chose violence. Yeah. And he's still running towards it? Okay. There's a mountain of bodies already. He still thinks. 
He still thinks they got it? Oh, he's like, hey, we may have the chance to rise up again. Yeah, they got dragons in Korogoro. They're good. Fool. He's not even doing anything. He's just squeezing their hearts. But I guess they all needed to see that. <laughs> oh, he wanted more dragon corpse. Oh, he told us it's a mistake? Oh no. Of course. So even when he admits he's wrong. Okay, well, there you go. Well, Royal Capital, they, they did what they said. Today so at Cora Girl, Dragons, and Runesmiths from this one little expedition. They got alcohol for days. Oh, Demir. <laughs> he says 10. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, there's a, another misunderstanding leading to world domination. Foolishness. <laughs> Just laughing, <laughs> and that was episode seven of season four of Overlord. Um, of course, Irons easily was able to do everything he set his mind to, <laughs> and um, this little trip came with the addition of obtaining dragons under his wings. Um, he got two dragon corpses, I guess, that he can use for further purposes. Um, he got to the Dwarven Kingdom. He found their treasury that is full of all kinds of wonders. Uh, he was able to get to Korogora. Um, he, Arun Shaltir whittled them down. So they have 10,000 of them under their rule. And then they got the Runesmiths. So I would say this expedition was a success. And um, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing more to say to that. Everything worked out. So. I'm curious to see what's next and um, what kind of shenanigans Ayn is going to get himself into and what kind of misunderstandings are going to lead to world domination. <laughs> so, until then.